Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminal Lee where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, horror, I'm going to do a quick review of this book, Dearest, by Peter Lochran. So Peter Lochran um, is an author who I've not been able to find a great deal about. I, I think he only wrote four books. Um, so Dearest was his debut. He also wrote a revenge thriller called The Third Beast. Um, which I've done a review of, um, which I'll link to, um, which is a, a, another very enjoyable book. Um, he seems to have written another book called London Express, um, which I haven't been able to get a hold of a copy of. Um, and all of these, I think, were kind of in the 80s. And then more recently, he's got a book that's available on Kindle, um, which is kind of a Second World War story, um, which looks quite interesting. So I, I think when my book buying band is over, I may pick up a copy of that and, and read it and give it a try. Um, anyway, today's focus is on this one, Dearest. Um, I have to say, I think that cover is fantastically creepy. Um, I, re I really, really like it. Um, I love the font, which is kind of a bit cheap and crap, but I, I love the font. I love that image. It's really stark and, and brilliant. And, and I don't know if you can see in the image, but on the front it says, the most gruesome book you've ever read. Please do not reveal the plot to anyone. Um, I'm I'm not convinced I'm not convinced um, that the plot's that that amazing and and that um, needing to not be revealed to anyone. But it was a good read anyway. Let me let me read you the blurb from the inside to give you a flavour of what the book's about. Um, he's an ordinary cab driver with some very definite ideas about women. It's just that no real live woman, however much you may love her, can live up to his expectations. When he meets Jackie, when she begins to carry his unborn child. When he gives her a ring in the prospect of marriage, her actions make him nervous and he must take certain steps to reserve her and their relationship permanently. Now, having said um, that you mustn't reveal the plot to anyone, that is pretty much the whole plot. Um, Dearest, a story that out Psycho Psycho is by a master storyteller whose narrative grabs the reader like a longshoreman's grappling hook and doesn't let go till the very last page. In the ranks of writers from Edgar Allan Poe to Stephen King, he is surely the most insidiously gruesome ever to put a poison pen to paper. Um, I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it was a good book. And, and the, Poe, um, the Poe reference is an interesting one because it did remind me um, of Poe um, in that it's, you know, it's about a character who's really obsessive um, and whose actions haunt them. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, as, as as the blurb said, so the, the, the story is about this guy who's a, who's a cab driver, who's the uh, narrator of the book, um, and um, he has very particular ideas about women. He basically thinks, um, let, me, let, me, let me read you, um, let me find a passage and read you to give you an idea of the kind of thing I'm talking about. Um, as if mod clothes and chopped eyebrows weren't bad enough, Jackie had these fancy fingernails too. You might not think that's too bad, a woman having fancy nails, but just think about what it means to the bloke who's got to live with her. If a woman spends hours every day doing her nails, it means she's not doing anything else. She's not homemaking, knitting, sewing, cooking, baking pies, anything at all. She's just sitting, scraping at her nails or putting polish on them, or waving them around in the air to dry them, or mending chips in them, or taking the polish off again, or pushing back her cuticles. You get the scene. If you live with a fancy nails woman, the rest of the house is barren. She won't do anything because she's too busy with her nails or she's scared of damaging them. So you live with unmade beds, unclean baths, unwashed dishes. Dishes. You live out of tins and on packaged TV dinners and slimming foods you mix with skim milk. You live in a domestic desert. It's all the love and all the tenderness and all the effort that a good woman puts into the home goes into your bird's bloody fingertips instead. So, yeah, he's definitely um, what you would call a chauvinist. Um, he's definitely got very specific views about a woman's role um, and, a, and about a man's role as well. Um, and, and a, you know, about what a relationship would be like. So, anyway, he meets this woman, this young woman, Jackie, um, who's got all, who clearly has got all sorts of problems. She's had a terrible upbringing. Um, and, you know, she, she behaves in, in very strange ways. Um, and as the plot progresses, he, he falls in love with her, but is incapable of um, forgiving her for, for you know any of the things she does that are wrong. Um, and, and ends up, this isn't too much of a spoiler, 
pretty obvious. He ends up killing her. Um, and what happens after that is, is very bizarre indeed. Um, so it, it's very similar to the third beast in that the third beast has um, has the, you know a protagonist narrator as well, who again is who's you know the, the that book like this one is filled with asides about you know the nature of life, uh, about you know the, the characters' opinions on things. Um, and you know they're very like, the character is very much front and center in the book, um, and like um, like the third beast, they're quite a self deluded character. Um, so you know in both books the, the the protagonist feels that they are absolutely right in what they are doing, absolutely justified in what they're doing, um, and as the books progress, you know in both of them you realise that um, you know whereas at, at the start they might feel they seem quite opinionated and maybe a bit eccentric as the book progresses you realize they're absolutely you know actually completely nuts um and that's certainly the case in dearest and and the, the kind of horror um of the book ramps up as it goes through so the third beast is is much more of a crime story this is definitely horror it's incredibly grotesque and weird um and as as the book progresses it gets more and more unsettling um there's one scene in particular um which i won't go into the details of because it would be a spoiler but which just made my flesh crawl um it's it's it completely surprised me even though actually what happens in that scene is you know is definitely foreshadowed and if, if i'd been thinking about it i might have realized what was going to happen but i didn't and it it stunned me um, in quite how horrible and weird and creepy it was um, so yeah it's it's definitely I think a book that's worth, worth checking out I mean, it's, it's, a, it's long out of print um, I got a copy I think this copy came from the US um, although it's you know it's an originally an English book but it came from the US via eight books um, but yeah if you, if you fancy reading something a bit different um, that's you know it's not really like anything else I've read I, I can honestly say I suppose in a way it's a bit like um, it's a bit like the Wasp Factory by Ian Banks in terms of its its complete weirdness and, and, and you know quite how grotesque it gets um, I think it's, it's not as good as the Wasp Factory which I think is a, is a truly excellent book um, but it is good it, it's definitely very very readable um, very weird um, and yeah, if you, as I say, if you fancy something a bit different, I'd, I'd definitely give it a try. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed that um, little trip into um, another weird old book. I have to say my review of The Third Beast uh, by Peter Lockman that I did, I think is perhaps my least viewed video. Um, so I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure if, um, if reviewing another book by him is, is a wise thing to do in terms of the growth of the channel um, but I, I, this was a book that really stuck with me and I, I did want to speak about and um, so yeah I hope you're all well take care and I will speak to you again in a future video cheerio